Well, Carly, for our next segment, I kind of went the opposite way. I have a piece of bacon in my hand, I will say, has been making in our house. You know, goes really well with bacon, eggs. <laughs> and today is the perfect day to talk about eggs and even better, eggs benedict. And when you think of eggs benedict or any special dishes with flair, of course, we think of our friends at Dats and our friend Kevin Luke, executive chef there, is joining us now. I need some of these dishes to go with my bacon. I need this. What do you say? How for, are for you sure. today? Absolutely, you do. Um, <laughs> so, Eggs Benedict Day is really awesome. We're, we're featuring two of our Benedicts that we have on our, on our menu. Uh, we have our chicken and waffle Benedict, and we have our short Benedict, but we'll talk about those in a minute. But let's talk about poaching eggs. Eggs are, you know, people get afraid about poaching eggs because it's you got to fit this big pot of water, and it's more water than you think it needs to be. You add some vinegar into it to help set the egg whites more quickly. So, and then you just take and you just gently crack an egg into the uh, into the th into the water. Wait a there. minute! Let wait a minute! Back up! Back up! You just have water, or did you say you put something else vinegar? in there? Vinegar, vinegar. It's got a splash of vinegar just so you can kind of smell it in the steam, um, because that helps set the egg whites a little bit quicker so that they don't end up just big flat pancakey so looking. So just eggs. a pot of water and a splash of vinegar. Yep. Do you and have you don't to wanna... wait till it gets? What's the temperature of the water? Is it boiling? No, it's below boiling. I have a, an induction burner here that has a set temperature and it's set at 240 degrees, but that's for the actual temperature of the cooktop, not of the, of the um, water itself in there. Um, and then you just want to kind of give it a little gentle swirl so that they kind of come around and, you know, they're exposed, the whole thing is exposed to the, to the hot water. So back to our benedicts here we have our chicken and waffle benedict because what's better than chicken and waffles and Ooh. eggs and hollandaise sauce so it's fried chicken tenders a half a waffle you get two poached eggs you get a choice of a side with it um and you can also get the if you don't like poached eggs some people really don't like poached eggs but you can get them um, fried or scrambled or any other way that you'd like them to be with this dish as well um and then we have our short rib benedict here, that's our braised burgundy short rib over a buttermilk biscuit with pepper jack cheese melted on it, again with the poached eggs, and this one has a smoked tomato hollandaise on it. Um, so it, it's, again, very tasty, very delicious dish, um, very popular. Both, both of them are very popular here in Riverview for, um, you know, during brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. So, and then Yeah, very brunchy, I would imagine. Yeah. yeah, both of them come with a choice of sides. You can add bacon to it if you wanted to. Um, if you don't like short rib and you want that really traditional Benedict with the ham and the poached eggs and the English muffin, we can do that too. It's yeah. called a Billy's Benny. Um, we can do that. It's off the menu. Don't tell anybody. Um, so, <laughs> but you guys will let we'll let you know. So, and then you hey, poach talk eggs. about the hollandaise sauce because I mean, how do you describe what a hollandaise sauce tastes like? Because I feel like that's also a hit or miss for people too. Either people mm -hmm. love it or they go, okay, no thanks. It's so a hollandaise sauce is is a emulsified butter sauce, and it, so it's got vinegar. Um, it's got some. You take a reduction of lemon juice and a little bit of vinegar, shallots and, and peppercorn, and you reduce that in a pan till it's almost completely dry. And then you whip your egg yolks until they're nice and fluffy over a little bit of heat, like when you're poaching your eggs over here. Um, and then you just take them with that, and then you slowly drip in, almost like you're making a mayonnaise. Um, if you've made that before, uh, and, and you're just trying to get that butter to emulsify into that egg yolk. And it, it, it's got a, kind of got a little bit of a tangy, a little bit of heat. Well, that's what it is. Cause there is a tangy, but there, it's something that's a, different that you don't really compare it much to anything else. I don't know. No, it, it's very it, much different. It, it, it is considered one of the five mother sauces in French cooking. So <laughs> it, 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 it is, it is all on its own. It's like saying, yeah. I'm trying to explain tomato sauce. It's yeah. like ketchup, but it's not ketchup. And it's, <laughs> and depending on which part of the world you get your tomato sauce in, it can have different spices and seasonings and stuff in it too. So, huh, so does the tang come from vinegar? Again, well, I feel like we're talking a lot about vinegar today, which makes me so happy because again, that was one of your tricks to poaching in eggs was the vinegar. So another win-win. Yeah. So then we have our poached egg. You see how just kind of, it's still very soft in there. You want that really runny yolk. You want the egg white to be set on the outside. Um, so that way you know that that's fully safe to eat. Again, we have the every under eating under the FDA and or the whoever it is says that you got to have cooked eggs that are like hard boiled, and that's the only way to ever eat eggs, which is not very good. So, and so then what you're looking <laughs> well, I like for? I a good hard boiled egg now. <laughs> so, and then when you take it you in, know. see if I can get a good shot of this on the camera here for you. But when you take it, and you want to cut into it. You want that egg yolk to just kind of run away. 
There so, you go. Job well done. So. Huh. I, I feel like I like eggs are one thing, and I don't cook a lot by like any means. Eggs are one thing that are a go-to for me. And oh, I yeah, we feel them every day when it comes to house. eggs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I only go on the weekends, but still. Yeah. No. This has been yeah. fun. I'm but I only cook scrambled. I, this is fancy. I'm going to have to try this. Oh, yeah. These are definitely <laughs> Datsy eggs. Datsy <laughs> eggs. Hey, by the way, we want to point out, too, Dat's still hiring all their locations. Of course, you can visit them as well and dine with them. Locations in Tampa, St. Petersburg, and Riverview. Kevin, it's always good to see you. Thanks for being with us today and sharing some of the secrets to a poached egg. Absolutely. I know, and cheers to National Happy Egg Benedict Day. Happy Friday. <laughs> Bye. Bye.